Hey amazing parent, it's Dr. Lindsay here with this week's psychology-based parenting tips, talking about what amazing parenting looks like. Presumably every parent listening to this wants to be the best parent they can possibly be to their children. But what does that mean? The answer will be different for each of you, but it's essential that you take a minute, if you haven't already done so, to visualize what you think an amazing parent looks like. Having this prototype of amazing parenting helps you to evaluate your work. Yes, parenting is a lot of work and to steer you back on course when you find that you're straying. Of course, nobody can always be an amazing parent. We can only strive for our best as much of the time as we can manage. How do you know what amazing parenting looks like? Let's learn from social learning theory, pioneered by psychologist Albert Bandura in the 1960s. Simply observing social interactions can lead to a tremendous amount of learning. Applied to parenting, we observe the outcomes that parents experience based on how they choose to interact with their children. For example, you observe a parent-child interaction in which a one-and-a-half-year-old appears on the brink of a meltdown, desperately wanting a toy that another child's holding. The mother repeatedly says, no, that's not your toy, here's your toy. The child continues to cry. The mother gets increasingly stressed. You can see where this is going. In contrast, you observe the same situation, but in this case, the mother responds by saying, Jimmy's using that toy now, but you'll get a turn soon. Oh, look over here. And she adeptly repositions his body facing the other direction. And with energy and excitement, she redirects him to see a bird or a butterfly or whatever else she can think of to shift the child's focus away from the offending toy. The second mother tries to avoid saying no to her child and realizes that young children are easily distracted and uses high energy and positivity in her parenting. Observant parents in the room may imitate these amazing parenting behaviors with their own children. Find your role model parents, whether it's your own parents, another mom or dad in a play group, or a character on television. Consider what aspect of their behavior and dialogue with their children you value and use that in your parenting practice. Then pick and choose from different models and develop an image of what amazing parenting looks like to you. Also pay attention to parents whose behavior you do not want to replicate, whether it's body language, speech patterns, or parenting techniques that have gone awry. In other episodes, I talk about discipline techniques and consequences, which is one of the five C's in my five C's parenting framework. You can check out my channel page and find the playlist called How to Manage Unwanted Behavior for more help in that area. In the meantime, here's a quick example from years ago in my pre-baby days when my husband and I had time to go play tennis together in the evenings after work. On a neighboring court, I overheard a boy probably around age 11 repeatedly using profanity when he became discouraged about his tennis game. There are many ways this situation could have been handled better. And I'll never forget hearing the mom say, if you keep using that language, we're gonna have to go home. Not once, not twice, but at least eight times. In the end, we ended up going home before they did. Even though I had yet to set up an if-then consequence for my own children, I observed that this technique was not working for them and got my first chance to start filling my parenting toolbox. I'll emphasize this in all of my consequences tips, but one of the most important things you can do as a parent is follow through on any if-then statements that you make. This teaches your children that your words are meaningful and that your response to their behavior is reliable. Amazing parenting is not about always saying and doing the right thing and raising perfect children. It's about being intentional in your parenting and proactive in learning skills to help you parent more effectively in a way that best fits your unique parent-child dynamics. So be an amazing parent this week by being on the lookout for parenting behavior that you observe, both amazing and not so amazing, to help develop a vision of what kind of parent you want to be. I'd love to hear from you in the comments with examples of amazing parenting that you observe. Being intentional about your parenting, including how you communicate with your children and how you use consequences in your parenting practice, is part of the Check Yourself category in my 5 C's parenting framework. If you're new to the 5 C's, look in the description below this video to find more parenting resources, including a video about the 5 C's parenting framework, and a link to sign up for my weekly newsletter to be sure that you never miss any of my new tips. Okay, amazing parent, that wraps up today's episode. Thanks for joining me to fill your parenting toolbox with psychology-based tools to feel more confident and capable in your parenting. If you found this video helpful, I'd invite you to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more parenting with psychology tips. Join me next week to learn why consistent bedtimes are important at all ages. 
In the meantime, check out my free resources listed below in the description. If you're ready to take your parenting to the next level with my online courses, follow the link in the description below. And keep up the good work on your amazing parenting journey.